Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the cyanide ion. Uh, so here we go. Uh, cyanide ion is CN minus. So that's going to give us um, four valence electrons from the carbon plus five from the nitrogen plus one more for the four, for the minus one charge for a total of ten uh, valence electrons. Okay. So this one is fairly simple. You have a carbon and a nitrogen, and we can start off by filling in by just single bonding them and just giving the uh, carbon the full eight octet. All right, and now so carbon has eight, but nitrogen only has two electrons. So we need to move over that pair of electrons. So now carbon still has eight, but nitrogen only has four. And so that's actually, that's only a, we still need 10, so let's go ahead and put on this extra uh, pair over here, all right? And now, so there's, carbon has 8, nitrogen has 6, we need to move over one more pair. So now there's a triple bond, carbon has 8, nitrogen has 8, and we're all good. So let's um, just redraw this, because there's a lot of scratching out and stuff. So there's carbon, triple bond, nitrogen, lone pair over here, lone pair over here, and then we also have our braces, brackets, because this is a uh, an ion form, a charged uh, particle. Okay, so now we can do um, the formal charges just to verify. Formal charge of the carbon is equal to um, four valence brought in minus the one, two, three bonds minus two non-bonding for a formal charge of negative one and the formal charge of the nitrogen equals five valence brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus two non-bonding from there gives you a formal charge of zero sums up to minus one overall formal charge which is what we're looking for because the uh, it's a negative one charged ion okay so now we can talk about the shape real quick uh, just having the two atoms it's going to be a linear shape and linear shape the uh, bond angle should be approximately 180 degrees okay um, looking at it as the carbon as a central atom and actually then the nitrogen as well this is going to be an sp hybrid for hybridization because there's one two bonding sites on each atom so this lone pair and this nitrogen or this lone pair and this carbon two bonding sites which makes it SP, 1S, 1P, two, two orbitals, okay? And then we also have, because these are different atoms, this is going to be a polar molecule, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.